reaction videos. This is a super special reaction. We got my boy Sora versus Pit in the latest death battle. I fucking love Kingdom Hearts so much. I got the hat, the shirt, and the keyblade, and my boy Sora is gonna beat Pit's ass to the curb. He's got limit form, which he could use without Dial the Goofy, which I think I really gonna be able to use that. Pit, however, does have the three sacred treasures, which is probably his strongest weapon. He also has a bit more weapons than Sora does. Sora's only got the Keyblade and magic, and Pit's got the, the bow, orbitars, and a crap ton of other different weapons that he could use. But my boy Sora's gonna win this, because even if he busts out those three sacred treasures, Sora's hitting off attacks that are way worse than that. He's fought Ansem and Xemnas, who are at least god level cut to villains. So, he is going to fucking win this fight. So, without further ado, I got my Keyblade, I got my hat. Let's fucking do this! This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by War Robots, the tactical 6v6 multiplayer game for iOS, Android, and Fire OS. The game's like if Wiz's love for cool. science Robots. and my love for weapons had a baby wrapped in rich 3D graphics. Alright, let's just skip this. Okay, here we go. Yeah! If the fate of the universe is at stake, the last person you should trust to save it is a naive teenager with magical weapons they don't understand. But everybody does it anyway. Yeah! 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 Wielding savior of <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. And Pit, the angel warrior from Kid Icarus. He's Wiz Nine Boom. Here we go! It's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. To, to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. I wish it was HD, but I'll tell you 3D, I'll time, take him. There in, was a small in, in a child bit. full of promise named Sora. And he lived on the one and only Destiny Island. Sora and his friends Riku and Kairi grew up honing their athletic skills by playing sports with Final Fantasy characters. Final Fantasy judge characters. Sora's fashion choices. Wait a minute, what the hell are Final Fantasy characters doing there? A hint of things to come. For the longest time, the residents of Destiny Island lived a peaceful Pair of Ventus's heart. Long, Original outfit like inspired by Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Yep. Would invade the island. This was the Heartless. But the arrival of these creepy crawlers wasn't the only surprise. Alongside the darkness came light in the form of a keyblade, which is the key. That's the one. Yeah. Super subtle. This keyblade in particular was known as the Kingdom Key and was drawn to Sora thanks to can his. Can open it and close any door. With the Kingdom Key Sora transforms via keychains or gear and can act in a wielder's heart desire when unlocking doors. Well. Yes, the keyblade can get past almost any lock out there. Which originally but intended for Riku, but he was lost in the darkness, having touched touch the light. Riku's heart received the keyblade. Sword. Yep. It's a key, it's a sword, and it's also a wand. Sora can use it to cast all sorts of magic spells like a wizard. He can even shoot a laser beam all the way to the moon. Unfortunately, despite his newfound can weapon, use some magic the keyblade, but it helps by enhancing magic the powers. Yeah, that's true. washed over Destiny Island, and just like that, it was gone. gone. But thanks to cosmic reasons, Sora was <laughs> to face with Goofy. Totally cosmic Bumble. reasons. Yep, he ended up in the most magical place on Earth, Disney. Yeah. Confused. Don't worry, you are not hallucinating. Somehow, in some way, this impossibility exists. Turns out, while Goofy and Donald have been lovable cartoons for decades. They're also world hopping warriors. Which is fucking oh awesome! God. This is the best thing ever! You damn right! And Sora teamed up with his new friends to lock the doors to the hearts of worlds, saving them from the heartless grip. And he wasn't even old enough to get a driver's license. While Sora may not have been strong enough to save Destiny Island, he quickly learned an enormous amount of talents perfect for beating back the darkness. Including some genuine ass kicking magic, like shooting ass fireballs, freezing baddies with blizzards, Thundaga, Blizzard Cure, Glide, Ragnarok, and Drive Forms! They're gonna use Limit Forms! Time magnetize yes. objects and even alter gravity. He's got a bunch of other magic attacks, but my favorite is Ragnarok, which fires a yep, bunch, a of, bunch of little energy. laser beams. Yep. And I oh, guess God, he's got Ragnarok. some magic abilities that don't involve beating monsters up, which I think is pretty lame, but Wiz insists we talk about it. Thanks to the Kingdom Key Sword, he can use spells which remove negative effects, including mm -hmm. curing his own wounds. He can also glide like Peter Pan and teleport like Figment. Eh, I 
still don't know if we should If it is lost, Sora can return the Keyblade at his hand. Yep. Even better with KJ. I love when he does they that. They can even transform the whole Keyblade into Ooh. more powerful versions. Are they going to turn it into... ...badass names, like Oathkeeper. Yeah! Oathkeeper and Oblivion! And Oblivion. ...the Heartless and took the fight to the man who discovered them, Xanort. He even Xanort. defeated Xanort's Heartless and his nobody. Oh, that's kind of harsh, Wiz. Why are you calling him a nobody? He's definitely somebody. <laughs> Please don't even try no, to see, dig into the plot of this. They're never going to understand it. <laughs> but a heartless isn't a somebody or a nobody, though they may oh have been a God. somebody filled with anger. Like Scar from The Lion King. <laughs> well, I'm a somebody that's really, really confused. <laughs> I'm a but somebody. to save all worlds, Sora found he had to be insanely oh strong, God. fast, and tough. <laughs> He's speedy enough to run up a building and quick enough to dodge magic lightning. Yeah. Not just magic lightning. Real legitimate lightning from the sky, a feat which could only take mere Has abilities. defeated Thunder Rats, which in game Dan described as moving as fast as the lightning in the dust. And this, the I love this scene! Every angle yeah! So it's safe to Battle 1000 Heartless is lost, slice through seven buildings, overpowered a rock type, resistant transmutation, shot and laser to the moon of the second, survived multiple gummy ship crashes, defeated Ansem Cloud, Hercules, Ursula, and Zemnis! <laughs> He's held back two of Cerberus's heads and went toe to toe with Hercules. You know, the demigod who threw a giant rock monster into space. Although this Titan's shape is too inconsistent to scale, oh my God. by treating him as a series of cones made of granite, we can estimate his weight as over 1,600 tons. Damn. It's like throwing 200 T Rexes into the sky. Oh, yeah, Herc is really, really strong, and Sora can take a hit from him. No problem. Honestly, Sora's ability to take a hit might be one of his strongest characteristics. He survived the jaws of Cerberus, ancient Chinese dragons, being shot by a musket, and shot by a musket. Fires of Hades. <laughs> but he isn't without his downfalls. Fox Sora so has frequently friend, lost abilities and even memories, but he has regained them throughout like, his adventures. All the goddamn time. That is true. He can't even enter his fancy drive forms, which boost his power and give him an extra Keyblade, without help from Goofy. Except. And so in a broad scope, he's fairly limited. Access to limit drive form on his own, but only served as a method of relearning forgotten basic. One. Uh -huh. oh, I'm not sure if that was profound I'm, or just stupid. I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. You're stupid. The heart may be weak. And sometimes it may it's even give in. in. But I've learned that deep down, deep down there's a light that never goes out. Oh, I fucking love that quote. Alright. My boy Pit. Pit's cool too. I do like Pit. Long ago, when I really wanted these two to fight. Live together in harmony. <laughs> Uprising is a great game, so I fucking love uh, Uprising. Five years ago. What? Uh, anyway, the kingdom of Angel Land was ruled by two goddesses. Palatina and Medusa. Palatina, the goddess of light, and Medusa, the goddess of darkness. Who oh, pretty much treated everyone like crap by turning people into statues and destroying their crops. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 but hey, what'd you expect from a being who Oh, I gotta watch your Avenger again. Darkness. She's just doing her job. Angered by these misdeeds, Palutena transformed Medusa into an ugly, one-eyed, parcel-tongued monster and yeah. banished her Uprising. to the dark underworld. Talk about throwing shade! Long story short, Medusa waged war with Palutena, who summoned the greatest hero Angel Land has ever known. Pit. Pit. Not Kid Icarus! Oh my no, no, god. No, definitely not that one. I <laughs> fucking <laughs> love the, the uh, visit hey, Captain uh, N. Oh god, it's Poor so like funny, though. Needs to drop him off at elementary school. Don't He's adorable, man. Pit Although Pit is well young, over the age of 25, he maintains the body of, of a secret machine and boy. Keepers of the peace and personal guards to Lady Palutina herself. <laughs> Wait! You're telling me this cupid looking kid is the captain of an army? He's super well, fun. At least he can I love fly him. With those wings. No, right, no, he can't. Actually, yeah. he can't. What? Look, he's flying right there. Well, Pit may have superhuman abilities, but he can't actually fly. Nor on does he say Icus. <laughs> Thankfully, leaves Eddie ice cream off the floor, gives you hell. Wings, which do that's a, flight, that's funny. Because up in Uprising, you can just eat them up, that, and then Palti will make a comment, don't eat ice cream off the floor. Sending Pit careening to a horrible end. Holy shit. So the captain of an angel army doesn't have his own working angel wing. That's what you're telling me? That's because yeah, of the of the myth strange. of Icarus. Try to bring it up. He's a bit touchy. Only lasts for five subject. minutes. He's a anyway, bit touchy. Explosive flame, mega laser, all these abilities. Yep. Ever after. 
Straight from Just uprising. kidding, Medusa came back 25 years later, looking better than ever, by the way. And this time, Hades he came brought along Hades to mess back. things up, too. <laughs> As captain of the Icarus army, Pitt has... Well, the this is a new Starbucks game, but was changed in mid-development. That. From a sudden invasion that of makes a lot of sense, actually. Vegetables? This is very uh, Starbucks-like. Right. But what's a soldier without his weapons? Pitt's got a huge arsenal of weaponry. He's well known for his archery skills and shows it off with his trusty weapon of choice, the Palutina Bow. This bow uses awesome laser arrows that can actually be guided by Pitt. And Check if it out, Link. Close, <laughs> oh, God, I love that trailer. Two short blades for quick, deadly slices. Now that's a practical weapon. He is highly skilled with several Bows, classes blades, of weapons. Claws, His arsenal bombs, has clubs, been imbued arms, with the strength and power of the Every gods, kind of making humans incapable of wielding them. These range from orbitars, like floaty shoulder cannons that can also block attacks, to blades, cannons, claws, hammers, staves, clubs, and weaponized tattoos. Ah, oh, I wish my tattoo was a weapon. Huh. Uh, anyway, all these weapons were forged by Mentos, the god of forge. Dentos. 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 <laughs> and, uh, you also crafted Pitt's ultimate weapons, the three sacred, sacred treasures. treasures. Hidden away in three sealed caskets, the sacred treasures consist of Angel Land's mightiest weapons, which can only be used by the most heroic and worthy of heroes. The mirror shield reflects projectiles. The wings of Pegasus give Pitt unrestricted flight and improved mm. speed. And the arrow of light is the ultimate weapon of the gods that can murder basically anything. The arrow of light is absolutely the deadliest weapon in Pitt's arsenal, and increases in power based on Pitt's own health and strength. And when all three treasures come together, Pitt is granted the legendary silver armor. Uh, you uh, tapping into mustache booze whiz? That's not silver. <laughs> silver. Cold. Well, colors are different in heaven, I guess. <laughs> Weird. Well, Pitt's learned several abilities throughout his Such adventures, warp like very limited dropping mines and making constantly. his arrows invisible, and all of his skills came in handy. Not only did he defeat Medusa, but he's taken on alien pirates, a space kraken, and the god of death, Thanatos. At he's, one point, I when love Thanatos him. attacked a village, he launched a large boulder which Pitt obliterated Thanatos. so thoroughly it was completely pulverized in mid-air. Wait a minute, how are those Trojan Horse Star Wars walkie thingies not tipping over? <laughs> Trojan Horse Star, Star Wars! Pulverization is defined as reducing an object oh to God. dust, which certainly applies here. To Ooh. determine the force necessary to do so, we first need the size of that boulder. For that, we'll compare the boulder to those pillars. Oh, here comes the math! Strap on your pocket protectors, nerds! Thanatos, <laughs> when standing near to pit, appears to be about 11 feet 6 inches tall. By comparing his height to the pillars, we've determined them to be 18 feet tall. By comparing that to the boulder, it's clear it has a diameter of 115 inches. To pulverize okay. a stone this large, pit strike must have outputted energy equal to nearly 1,600 pounds of TNT. Damn! Little angel kid can Ooh. dish it out. Pitt's also incredibly quick. He was able to maneuver, react, and fly from the top of these clouds to the lunar sanctum in less than 40 seconds. Despite looking like one, that's no moon. It's a space station, orbiting the Earth at a similar altitude to the International Space Station. The average distance from the ISS to the highest cloud layers is about 242 miles, meaning Pitt must have flown around 21,600 miles per hour. I'm a little scared. I'm a little Sucking scared Superman. now. Not only that, Pitt dodged a laser which covered this distance in a fraction of a second, most likely moving a little over 90 million miles per hour. Oh my god, that not moon thing really is the death star. Flew space with four seconds to be Hades, Medusa, Thantos, and Pandora. From gods and taken falls that would turn any normal man. This might be turned into an eggplant. Well, eggplant a dead lizard. man, yes. In his final duel with Hades, the god of the underworld. Pitt took a devastating blow that sent him plummeting at least 2,000 feet. Given Pitt's weight, the impact of that fall would be over eight tons of force. And he was fine! This Hades guy can cut through giant diamond spires, so a hit from him could be as powerful as nearly 30 tons of TNT. Of course, while Pitt may be formidable, he's has not some fourth perfect. wall awareness, but has done nothing more than simply reference it. He cannot manipulate his own medium. And relies on assistance nice. from his godly allies. But this kick-ass angel isn't afraid to charge headfirst into a fight, oh. even with his wings on fire. fire. In the name of the goddess Palutena, defender of all the All those fight. evils shall be forced those to meet the light. The darkness will be made to face the light. Fly, okay, I'm a little nervous now. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared. Let's end this debate once and for all. I feel like Pit can take much more damage than Sora can. Although, okay, oh god, it's it's so hard to figure out. Will if he doesn't if Sora doesn't use limit form, which I don't think they're gonna let him use, which I think is bullshit, he may not win this fight. I mean he might be just as fast as Pit. He Oh wait a minute. He blah, blah, Sora can heal himself. I'm also forgetting that. It's close. It's really close. It is not an easy fight to figure out. But I'm will, I'm not going to have all my Kingdom Hearts stuff here and then abandon Sora. Absolutely not. My boy Sora will win this fight. I will make sure of it. I don't know how I'll make sure of it, but I will. <laughs> well, Blue Apron is treating Death Battle viewers to $30 off your first order if you visit blueapron.com slash battle. So check out this oh, week's will. menu no, and get your $30 really, but... off at blueapron.com slash battle. My boy Sora. But right now, it's time for a Death Battle! Alright, here comes my boy Sora! Fighting in the Olympus Coliseum, I see. Yeah! Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> chill, chill the fuck out, Donald! Who's where am I kicking this time? Pit. Oh, he's coming in through the entrance! That's awesome! Sorry to keep you waiting. Here we go! Yeah! Come on, Sora. Come on! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Kick his ass! Whoop! Fire Aga! Oh, uh oh! I've seen candles that are scarier than you! What? Oh, bigger! Oh, bigger fire! Oh, wait. Oh, he comes with the upper dash! Oh, God! Hit him with the upper dash arm! Right in the face! Oh! Fighting in heaven! Oh, oh god, Sora! No, no! Come on, dude! Come on! Oh, he's got cannons! Come on, come on, dude, come on! Yeah! Hey, whoa, Ragnarok! Was it? No, it looked like Ragnarok! Oh God! Oh! Yeah! Mind blown. <laughs> Mind blown. Let's see what you think of this. There's Ragnarok. There it is. Here it comes. Come on! Come on, son. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh! How about that shot again? Oh! Oh, God! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, he got him! Come back down to Earth! Alright, three sacred treasures! Don't let me down! Use limit form! Time to end this. You said it. Come on, please! Please don't let him lose this! Reaction speed was quick enough to dodge natural lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke, which constitutes the bright flash, moves at around 220 million miles per hour. 
over twice as fast as Pit. Both can heal from our mutant very status effects, but Pit has never shown us the time in Sora was just too quick yep. for Pit to land very many big hits. Plus, when Sora shot that Keyblade beam to the moon, it took one second flat. That's 1.28 times the speed of light, much faster than anything Pit's reacted to before. Of course, Pit did have enough weapons to keep Sora busy, but Sora's impressive and wide-ranging magical arsenal provided more talents for Sora's transforms are back from similar. Right, he's turned the cards and dice. Superior healing techniques. Hey, remember that building Sora cut through? Yeah, skyscraper like slicing. Swiss cheese was impressive enough, but this building was completely made of stone from top to bottom, and Sora cut through seven. At once. <laughs> These buildings may have been composed of a modest Four. stone like granite, which has a minimum shearing Seven. strength of 14 <laughs> megapascals. In comparison to Sora's height, each building was about 20 I love slicing the sky By measuring Sora. Sora's largest slash and the distance cut through all seven buildings, we can determine Sora's striking energy to equal, at minimum, 78 tons of <laughs> That's way more than Pit's boulder pulverizing. <laughs> no wonder this guy beat Herc. Speaking of which, let's compare some of the strongest beings Sora and Pit have taken hits Ooh. from. The amount of energy needed for Hercules to throw that rock titan into space had to have been around 24 megatons of TNT, whereas Hades' strikes were equivalent to only 30 tons at best. So Pit had never survived anything close to Sora's strongest attacks. Just by numbers alone, Sora's, Sora's magic power repels his little pit. His powers pit. have finite and uses. The it's true. Itself had a way more impressive track record than any of Pit's weapons. Yeah. You might say <laughs> it was the key to this fight. And when we pit them together, one of them was bound to be a Sora loser. <laughs> the winner <laughs> is Yeah! Thanks for watching. Check out the exclusive. <laughs> oh my boy, Sora! Right over there. And thanks to McLeod Gaming for letting us use their sprites in this battle. You can check out their. I noticed that and the music th they were from the Super Smash Flash too. Uh, that's what they looked like. It's getting freaky, creepy. Frank West, Frank West versus Leon Kennedy, dude! I'm loving it. I love Resident Evil and Dead Rising. That's a good one. I never thought of that. That's a wicked cool one. But yes, my boy Sora fucking won. Oh, it's a good day. It's a very good day. I fucking love Kingdom Hearts. He deserved this win. He deserved to be in death battle. This was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment if we'll actually react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!